watching Voice Asia News with me, Vinita. Let's have a look at today's report. In northern Italy, the next town of Viganella sits next to the side of its very steep Anchona Valley. The valley is surrounded by mountains which blocks the sunshine, making it a deep dark valley. Every year, the sun does not rise for three months from 11th November to 2nd February. The town has only 160 residents. According to a report, generation of the local have spent over 800 winters in the dark since the 13th century. Every year after the last sunset, the whole town eagerly awaits for the sunrise. When the sun rises after, again after three months, everyone dresses up and celebrates the return of light with traditions, customs and rituals. In 1999, Giacomo Bonsai, a local architect, proposed installing a sundial on the facade of a church. Pier Franco Medali, the then mayor, dismissed the idea and asked him to bring the sun to the valley instead by using law of reflection. The idea was ultimately put into action. Bonzani, along with engineers, Gianni Ferrari designed an 8 meters wide and 5 tall mirrors. It cost about 1 lakh euro. The mirror was placed on a near peak to reflect sunlight for 6 hours a day by following the sun's path with the help of a software program that makes it rotate. The project finally saw the light of the day on December 17, 2006. The whole town was immersed in joy and celebration when the huge mirror made of a steel positioned on the top of 1,100 meter high mount Schedula reflected sunlight on the town's square. The reflected light was not as warm as the natural sunlight, but it was enough to warm up the town. The idea was not scientific or practical. It only emerged from the desire to somehow make people socialize in winter. Other towns around the world took inspiration from Viganella's success after a group of engineers came to Viganella to study the mirror on site in 2013. A similar mirror was installed in Jukan, Norway.